With Max 8, we've updated the patching environment to make your editing more immediate and efficient. Here are a few ways that your experience will be better with this new release. As you may have noticed in the Visi First Look, you can now insert an object into a patch cord by holding down the Shift key and sliding it into place. This will automatically repatch the surrounding objects. If you shift drag the object as you pull it away, it will repatch those surrounding objects as well. There are also new zoom functions that let you move quickly through a large patch. When you're in a patch, position the mouse on a location, then command or control swipe up and down to zoom in and out. Once you are zoomed in, you can also move within the patcher by holding shift and command or control and then clicking in the patch and dragging to scroll. The new group function lets you select a set of objects and combine them into a single editing unit. Grouped objects can easily be moved, duplicated, resized, and rescaled. Creating multiple groups in your patch can make it easier to manage complex object sets or experiment with UI layout. We've also enhanced the debugging features of the patching environment by adding event probing. When event probing is active, hovering over a patch cord produces a little bubble pop-up that displays event data in real time. Event probing can remove a lot of clutter in patches by eliminating the number boxes and message objects we needed to use for monitoring values. All these changes and more are part of our improvements to the patching experience within Max 8, available September 2018. Thanks for watching.